All right, let's take a look at this. So I'm um, checking your email. So this is looking all pretty cool. I got some minor notes here and there on some of the posing stuff and some of the timing that you have here. And then I'm gonna look at your test, which I thought was actually really cool, but I see your concerns, but still, I wanna still go through it. So the major thing I see here is that, and it's throughout the whole shot, is I feel it's just a bit too low. Right from the get-go, the head is so low, kind of looking at the shoe. And I think it would be good if at the very beginning you were a bit more relaxed, maybe a bit more like this. I'm sure my scribbles are helping. And then it's almost not, that way you have somewhere to go. You go from this C curve to the reverse here. You can really curl up and pull, which I think is cool. Just that way we see maybe the face is also kind of towards us. I mean, he could also almost kind of look at her and have a bit of a smile like all right i'm ready and then he starts hissing into this which it wouldn't really add much i know i know we're concerned about um the length of the shot so but i think just that beginning shouldn't be too bad on your pull here to be careful this is such a fast pull which is technically fine but then as you go back here a, we're stopping a bit in this straight line and also mimics this pole. I think pose-wise, it would be cool if maybe you're going from this back into a bigger pull where it's slightly this way into that, and then you can relax into this. Currently, it feels like you're pulling really hard and then it's kind of locks in, in this pose where I feel like it would overshoot and go out a bit this way. Like you can't really stop his momentum that quickly. Like that. So instead of doing arm out and going this way, I would go further back, arm out, and then go into this. Same thing here where we're getting a bit too low. And I think it continues. See that we're, we're really low. And if you start looking at silhouettes, it just ends up being a bit too overlappy in spots, especially through here, it gets kind of muddled. So I think he has really long arms. I think you could get away with Maybe that hand goes a bit below, maybe I cheated a bit, but then you can still stretch that arm and bring that shoulder lower. Just so we have a bit of a clear view of what's going on here. So I know how far you can cheat his leg, but something where it's a, there's more negative space between arms and the chest, at least. And then at the end, you can go down, but even here, you could stay like this, but then have his head up like that. And that way we can see his face and you can do kind of a one of those that's my drawing those are my drawing skills but you know like clench teeth as he tries to lift this and then it could be here and then when you do this the head will be already up here is this all one move hold on and yeah it's one big move i was going to say then it would be go back here with a little smile because it's for the camera but no uh, ignore that note because it, it is one big move but speaking of which, that big move here, especially those two frames, that once you spline this, this is such a huge move. Let's pretend you want it to be that big. It will go from here and then a couple more frames, your body will be over here. Like if you have that much speed in your backwards move, it's gonna take a while for momentum to settle and then to reverse. Right now that reverse is really, really fast. So this move, and that immediate recovery here is just a bit too much and kills the weight right there. That's all cool. The only thing is careful. I know this is just a step, then we're going to have some more breakdowns. But A, the ankle is broken here. But also your knee is... It's, it's kind of bent towards the camera. So we're kind of missing the actual shape of the leg. And it's also in front of the other leg, giving us, if you do a squinty test or a silhouette test, when you push seven on your keyboard without lights, uh, in Maya, then you have just that weird stump. And then we end up being fairly straight throughout. There's a bend here, but just looking at those poses here, and bloop, 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 they feel a bit too, just too straight on. But I know this is just step, so with breakdowns, it might get better. But just be mindful of uh, frames like this. A bit funky. Goes over there. Even here, if you're this far, at that speed, leaning this far over, it feels like you want to go a bit further with your roots and then go up. So it does kind of a, that type of arc, meaning you're, let's go back here. You're 
here, right? You have all that move. And see, and now, imagine you're splatting this out. You're going to have a really fast move from here to here. We're stopping here. But then if you continue, all he does is go up this way. But if you're going this fast and you're stopping here, you're going to have some more space. You can overshoot and come back. Meaning that all the weight is going to be on this leg. Maybe this foot goes slightly off the ground. And then he settles and stands in this position here. This is all cool. I like that slow drop and bend where he's all, you know, a bit more straight and confident. And as the confidence erodes because of this, I like that it's also visually reflected in him bending and being less secure in his pose. I think that's pretty cool. That's cool. You can probably push out that knee potentially just a bit more. Have that leg maybe here. Again, my drawings, I'm sure if they help, but just bigger sil um, silhouette, bigger negative space between those two legs. And then just timing wise, I would go and see. You could probably just have a little bit more of a break through here. Break as in a bit of a pause, a bit of a slower move through here, so that this is your big explosion. So it's what's going on fast, pause, fast. And right now it's a bit one continuous thing, kind of. It's kind of there, just kind of push it. I would just start going. With your movement here into this and wait with this, this big move. I will keep it within this family here where it's just a bit less, a bit more contained. And then suddenly that last explosion out of his arms. And as it explodes, again, it might pull him a bit more, meaning that he might end up, you know, body wise, he will be here. This means that it will be potentially here. Just a, pew, bit, a bigger pull from the fish. All right. That is that. Looking at this now, what I really like is this. This is super cute. <laughs> I like how he looks at him. You could even pat the, uh, pet the little fish here. Maybe a little caressing. He's completely unaware of what's going on what that means for the fish or something but it's such a cute character is that uh, i can email you but is that the character there's a rig that where a kid turns into a werewolf it's an old old rig i'm not sure if you unearthed that old rig and i don't think it distracts because he's fairly quiet so if i look at the kid here right i see this this is super cute look at both of them i'm looking at the guy looking at the guy he pulls gets the fish and that little getting out of the way I think it's not too bad and the thing is you can have more steps right through here which will kind of distract from that scrunchy silhouette so it ends up being here so that this has no overlap otherwise it looks like it's gonna hit the, the kid's face so you can use those quick moves while he's a bit more scrunched in then the kid stops and then he starts to lift so there's a good back and forth and audience attention hand off if that's the term this was weird that's the only thing where i went like what what is he, is he going to tackle the dad he's going to start biting the legs like a little zombie it's coming out of here that was the only weird thing but it's cute with the for the pose um but then if you push that or if you go for that i'll push this where he gets on his toes and tries to really get into frame because he knows the camera's only this high maybe he puts i would actually keep both arms and he's trying to pull himself up like I would push that moment in terms of cuteness and connection and if you keep it and I know you're saying that you might not keep it but he might react a bit too soon and then yes the question is what is he going to do I like that he's trying to catch him I think that's really cute what would you do I mean, he will get away, and then the kid is just kind of by himself. You can always disappear, and then the kid goes, hmm, and runs over and jumps in the air for a pose, and then you see a flash, and then you freeze frame and just have the kid in a, fu in a funny pose. Which, in a way, you could almost... This is going to be way too complicated. <laughs> and I know I'm adding complications, but imagine... He's also concerned about the camera, so he's, he doesn't go this far. He would just kind of go around 
so he comes out here so that by the time the guy is here the kid is here and when the guy falls you have the fish you got the dad uh, in the air and the kid jumps in the air with a high five or like a thumbs up and then the photo and then freeze frame and that way you can see all three in a crazy pose I know this is adding a ton of stuff but I have to mention anyway <laughs> that's just an idea why not um, but I really really like this so let's email let's talk this out I'm curious I would love for you to not abandon this idea but it's obviously your shot and I know it's it's long but I just love that little kid so cute this little little fur hat thingy so yeah let me know let's email let's see what we can do with this all right thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you